Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you how I got this simple brown smoky eye and added this pop of color with the lipstick. So I'm starting off with priming the eye that's not complete yet. And I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base that I really like. And then over that, just gonna sweep some setting powder. It's a translucent powder that's just gonna make sure like that's set in place. And I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm using the color Semi Sweet in my crease area. And that is gonna just be a great transition color and it just works out perfectly that this whole eye is centered around the shade brown, different shades of brown. So then I'm gonna use the Fudge color that I just showed from the same palette. And I'm gonna pat that onto my lid. I did wet my brush with the setting spray, which is why you don't see fallout. Um, you could also use a napkin or something and hold it underneath just to make sure, but I didn't get any fallout, just lightly press it in on the lid. And then I'm using hot chocolate in the center of my eyelid just to give some, I guess, some shimmer to this eye look because I could you could definitely leave it all matte but I just wanted a little hint of shimmer then from the same palette I'm using the shade white chocolate in my brow bone area and this is just like my go-to brow bone color and it's easily blendable <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use the same deep dark brown from my lid and kind of just sweep that across my lower lash line. And once again, I applied setting spray to this brush, which is why you don't see fallout. And then I'm going in with just a regular black eyeliner pencil by NYX, I believe. Okay, and the eyelashes that I'm gonna apply are by Cara, and they're semi-dramatic. They'll add even more flair to the eye look. And I'm going ahead and applying this nice shimmer gold shade by Wet n Wild. It's a eyeliner pencil in gold. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up my eyes as much as possible with my mascara. And this is actually a Wet n Wild mascara. Um, it's a volumizing mascara. I'll list the products in the description box. Okay, and now moving on to my face. I've already applied the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Formula of the foundation. And I really, really like that foundation. And so now I'm just gonna go in and do some highlighting and contouring, of course. And then um, I'm actually gonna go in and kind of illuminate as well today. So, um, and I have a new product to show you guys. But once we get to that section, I'll speak about it. I'm um, just blending, blending, blending. The key to everything with makeup, blending, blending, blending. So I'm gonna do that and then get back. And I'm applying this translucent setting powder by e.l.f. actually. And I've just started to implement this powder and I feel like it really does help. Uh, I think one of you guys have suggested about a powder or asked me why I never use it. I, you know, I've tried a few and they never really helped, but this one actually helped and it's affordable. Okay, so here you see me using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa, or it might just be Cocoa. Uh, it's a pretty deep dark brown, but... Uh, what I like about using this particular concealer to contour in this shade, I mean, it is kind of dark, but it is easily blendable, but at the same time, it kind of helps me to ensure that I don't completely blend out my contour color, because when I use a color that's just a couple shades darker than my skin tone, I tend to just almost blend it in too much, and so a darker shade really helps me to kind of make sure I leave the effect 
of what I'm trying to do there, you know, I'm not, it's not being blended so much into the skin, you know. So then I'm going under and obviously I'm going to blend out kind of the highlight that I put underneath the contour area, just to really bring out the contour. Okay, and I'm applying a Black Radiance blush, which has just been my favorite blush for a while. Um, it's Warm Berry is what it's called, and it's just perfect. It's the perfect shade, add some warmth. And this is a new fave. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. Get your hands on this affordable highlight, straight up. It's amazing, as you can see. Like. For very cheap maybe it was four dollars or something like that okay and for my lips I'm using two lipstick shades I'm using a Milani Amore lip cream it's a matte and I'll list the name of it in the description box but it's kind of bright and so to kind of tone that down and make this a little shade darker of a pink I'm using I think it's Mocha Licious by Wet n Wild. It's like a brown, it's really kind of like a mocha color. And just kind of laying that on top of the matte and just toning that pink shade down. But that's the completed look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to thumbs up. See you in the next one. Bye.